Hello, it's Chris Taylor from Kinetic Avionics again, and I'm here to talk to you today about getting a bit more out of your SPS3 supplied antenna. With the winter months coming on, you're going to be sat indoors watching that screen a little bit more, and you might want to see that a little bit further. And the supplied antenna, which looks like this, is magnetic and comes with a short length of cable. Ideally, that needs to be outside or near a window to get good signals. And of course, if your computer's not near a window, you have an issue. So the first thing to consider is extending the cable. We've made that easy for you. We have here an extension cable. It's on our e-store. It's called the Cal AE antenna extender. But all it is is five meters of good quality coax and one end it has an SMA socket, the other end it has an SMA plug. So you simply get your existing antenna, you screw the plug on here like so, and you screw the other end into your SPS3 1090 socket, and away you go. You've got five meters longer cable, you can get the air and into a better location. And the other thing is, why is it magnetic on the bottom? I'm not going to go into technicalities, but very simply there are two types of antennas. There are ground plane antennas and ground plane independent. A ground plane antenna needs something underneath it, metallic, to act as a ground plane. Ground plane independent antennas, like a TV antenna for instance, don't. So I popped down the pound shop <coughs> and I had a forage to see what I could find that you could use so you haven't got to break the bank. I found this. It's a pen holder. If you turn it upside down, you can plonk your mag mount on top of it and you have sufficient metal there at 1090 to give you a reasonable ground plane. That will make a difference even indoors if you haven't got the antenna on something metal. But why I like this, being a hollow inside, you can plonk that on top of a wooden post in the garden like a fence post or something, a couple of screws in the side and it will hold it for you as a simple base antenna or even on top of the roof of your house if you've got a pole with a TV arrow, plonk it on, a couple of screws or nuts and bolts and it will just hold that in place for you. Do bear in mind if you're putting it outside, if the wind blows and it falls off, where's it going to land? Don't put it somewhere where it's going to come crashing through your conservatory roof or through the greenhouse because uh, I don't want to be responsible for the bills, thank you. So by putting the antenna outside, you can't believe the difference it makes. If you've got the antenna indoors, um, it's a bit like your cell phone. If you're walking around the house trying to make a phone call and people are, what are you saying, hello? And you go out into the garden and suddenly it all becomes clear. And that's because your house attenuates the signals that you're looking for. So <clears throat> if you can get the antenna outside, it's better. And if you can get it clear of buildings, even better still. So in an ideal world, an outdoor antenna and there'll be a separate video in a day or two showing you outdoor antennas but for now we're just showing you the simple ways to get the best out of indoors another option is to buy a different antenna or you can change the whip on the supplied antenna if we uh, take the supplied mag mount and unscrew the whip that's at that whip has 3 db gain it's a 5 8 wave over a quarter wave for those that need to know but it has 3 db gain and here is a higher gain antenna with 5 db gain and that simply screws on top of the magnet now if you're the kind of person that uses your SPS in the car and you have the mag mount on top of the car don't put this antenna on top of the mag mount and drive down the road it's too heavy but um, it's certainly fine for being sat at home. And that will give you a little bit more gain and that will give you a little bit more distance and range. More aircraft on screen, which is what it's all about. So that's the first simple way. Just replace it with a larger antenna. And again, if you put that on top of our, uh, our ground plane, as I say, I found this pen holder. I thought it was brilliant. Um, I stuck it on a wooden pole in the garden to do some tests and... Uh, to do some screenshots which I'll be putting together in a document shortly and um, I just held that to a piece of wood with two drawing pins it's fine to do all my tests so there we are it's simple there is one other solution we do a window mount antenna so how do you mount it on the window well here's the window mount antenna again it's on our e-store it's the Cal BSBW and that sticks on the window with two rubber suckers here and here comes supplied with five meters of cable so you can put that 
on the window of your house, your flat, whatever, or on holiday, you can put it on the outside of your holiday home and poke the cable in. And that will give you very good range. And this antenna is ground plane independent, so it doesn't need any metal underneath it. It's an antenna inside this tube. And um, we, we used to sell it as a base antenna. And you, you can still use it as a base antenna. You take these two rubber suckers off and you can put a terry clip around here and that will just hold it in place on a pole for you, no problem. So um, <clears throat> there's another alternative for a simple indoor antenna. Now these are all available on the e-store. So just to summarise, the antenna that came with the SBS, and if you've got an old SBS one and you need a new one, it will work, but you'll need an adapter. So um, you need to order the adapter at the same time. There is the supplied antenna, the M MD1100. This is the high gain whip antenna. That is an AS1105. And then we do do this on a mag mount supplied with cable on a heavier duty mag mount. And that's called an MD1105. All of these are on our e-store. And then finally, the antenna extension cable. And that's just called the AE. All of their part numbers are su suffixed with um, KAL for Kinetic Avionics Limited. So there we are, quick summary of that. Um, get your air in a better position, see more aircraft. See you soon.